good day miss, what are we gonna who here? Welcome to episode 19 of Let's Play Tai 2 Bush Rescue. Yeah, let's up so we collected all the chromios, nearly all the cogs and nearly all the bilibies. <laughs> all muscle. And now I'm doing waste Where's the waste is here? What this one is just one long opal really, so this one should be pretty easy hopefully. And yes, I kind of forgot to record call on mission, so I kind of fixed that up there. So there's that too. But yeah, um, yeah, here you can really see how terrible the tourney is, and I didn't know the lightning bolt was a thing, thing here. <sighs> yeah, as you can definitely tell, the AI is aggressive. Those are the six that. Six laps here instead of usual three because, well, those and open needs to be more laps. Uh, damn it all again. Hey. Uh, Good for the shield. You know, a shield is just blue sparkles. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, last lap. Put shield on again because got that shield. Apart from the turbo, I guess the shield is the basically best eye in the game because it basically tests you from all the constant crap you're getting fired at. And there you go, first again. Okay, next race is up here. If you've never seen it, why is the line here so terrible? Everything I see here is pitch black. Uh, anyways, just climb away up here. No idea saving the game itself. Well, I guess you don't really have much opal, so saving the game would be pretty helpful. Is that a hedgehog, a porcupine, or a kidna? I don't know, but here is the next waste track. This is volcano themed, and this can blow it. I hate this track. There's so many. Screw you. The turns here are way too hard. Yeah, the turns are way too hard. Hard here. It's just. It's really freaking difficult to actually win in one of these races. It's just because these stupid turns. Because you're just going to bonk to the wall, or you're going to use trip function and slow down like hell, so you really have no blade choice. choice. These are sort of shortcuts here, I guess. If you can somehow turn faster, but. Well, I don't know. You're just going to bonk to a wall. It's going to take forever to get first place in here, so. This is absolute bollocks. Uh, thank God I had a turbo there. Now it's gonna hope to God I don't get attacked by anything. Okay. Yeah, just try to get away from the aggressive AI as much as possible. Ow. See, you're just gonna bonk into a wall. Ugh, screw you, Bluey. Ugh. So yeah, that sucked, and... Hmm. There you go. <laughs> Back in the Never Never again, because I actually got a bit of beat over there. Yeah, actually here I am, back in this way, and... Yeah, believe it or not, the game crashed. Yeah, that's the only time I played in this game that the game actually genuinely crashed there. So, guess what? After we set the game, we do this race. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, that just happened. Anyway, so you got this track, which is. which sucks too, honestly. Nah. 
Here we go, the air being super duper aggressive again. It's just a really wide and open track. Here yeah, we got a bunch of stuff here and I going the wrong way. I hate this. I hate this way. I hate car racing in general. Why was this a thing? And why is it returning the third game? What were they thinking? And yes, you can somehow grind on whales with your car. I don't know how. And oh my god, the AI, the AI is being dicks. I'm. Well, I was in seventh place. Uh, I know. Can I take the rubber band AI to my advantage? Ain't playing speed here, so maybe. Okay. All right, first place and good shield, so I could prepare myself for those stupid missiles. Well, no one. Thank goodness. Also, I just wish I could just get get shield all the time. Honestly, ice ball. That's useless. Blaster wing. Yeah, useless. Cause I'm first. Turbo. No, that's useful. Crap. No. I don't know. To be fair, I did barely win this race. Somehow. Despite all the get chaos there, I somehow got in first place. Don't ask me how. Okay. Next race, and I believe this is the last one. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the last one. I think this is near Slice Brook. Boom, my job, so. There you go, here's the last track. It's night time, reminds me of that Dennis level from Taiwan. And yeah, yeah, this one has a bunch of tight turns too, and this track also sucks a lot too, so. Yeah, I think it's probably shortcuts here, so you could take a guess. But yeah, I mean, that, that's definitely one tight turn. I mean, Jesus Christ. Can you tell us what game you weigh if you just, you just have an we'll just drive over the turtles. Don't know if it slows you down or not, but I don't think it does. <clears throat> Alright, second lap. And of course they catch up because World Band AI is the worst kind of AI. Yeah. Hey, there's a whale there I never knew. Oh. And of course, bug white heart into a wall, which means I lost a lot of speed. <sighs> Drifted too early, and I got punished hard for it. Jesus. Thank God it's the last race. Okay. <sighs> Thankfully, I somehow managed to catch up to first place. Ugh. Hey, it's that robot that was teasing the first game. Mm, except this isn't Thai CD. You know, that really wouldn't make any sense. Because. It's on a CD anyway, so pfft. I know. Oh god, sixth place. And I need at the end of No, I'm in first place. Okay. I'll take it, sure. That was just complete luck. So in the end of the day, screw those faces. They'll point this addition to the game, and I don't want to see it ever again. Except we're gonna see them again in the third game, so ugh. But hey, at least we're now the Doom. Doing right, the most expensive boo in the game. And a uh, whole quick select circles. And yeah, it acts exactly how it did in the first game. You can remotely control it and 
Yeah. And there you go, there's the last Blibby that's actually in the theme park. I missed that one, so yeah, I got all the Blibbies now. So the game, we're at 92%. Oh yeah. So, we gonna look over here. We got nearly everything. We got all, found all Google Steve's. We got all the Blibbies and that. But it's one collectible I kind I missed on. And that's, like I said, the Quill Spies. You're using the X-Wang or the Infrawang. One Koalas will look like a Quill in a Koala costume, so... Gotta take that guy out. And we're gonna talk to this guy, say we done it. You caught the spy red-handed. We'll be taking this fellow in for questioning. Hopefully we'll get some inside info on what Cass has been up to. So yeah, that's how it's done. Now, what the game again does not tell you to do. So cool. You probably think it's just a big sign. What you're supposed to do is talk to Andrew Ken again. What you doing? I'm helping out Julius, mate. Apparently, that spy you caught wasn't working alone. Fair dinkum. That's right, mate. Looks like there's a whole mob of Cass's cronies with them Disguisertron thingamajigs. Strew! They could be anywhere, mate. Not just in town, but all over the southern rivers. I've got Burramudgy covered, but if you could check out all the outskirts, I'd appreciate it. No worries, mate. I'll see what I can do. So there you go. So now, all the quills might actually pop up around the play. In, in the game world. And now we can take them all out. So yeah, that's a stupid way of activating it. So basically I had to look it up and also actually get these, these guys to pop up, so... Yeah, I didn't realize that until literally I beat the game, so... Again, another... Another example of terrible video game design. The game, again, clearly telling you what, not what you're supposed to do, so... Now I'm going back anywhere, I just take care of all the... Quill Spies everywhere. So yeah, that, that's very stupid, it really is. So yeah, screw you. So yeah, I was actually next to a budget crew as well, since I didn't activate the mission, since I didn't know how to, I couldn't really take care of these guys, so... Way to go, Chrome Studios, way to bloody go. Let me take care of you. Please, there's, I think there's her in them, I think. When they 20, I, I don't know. So, yo, there's the next one. Taking that, care that guy. Take care of that guy, the end of Mount Doom. Okay, take care of that guy, which is at the entrance to Thrill Neck Forest. And side Neck Forest, there's that guy. Must who is like in his own territory here. And again, some more pitch frames that I again completely missed. <laughs> okay, back in the theme park. Take care of this hassle. I, I can't believe I ignored that whole area. I'm so sorry, people. Yeah, now we're in the wetlands here. Take care of that guy. Now we're in Sulphur Walks. Take care of that guy, which is over here. Uh, this guy in this Chandra is actually at the bottom of the pits. And now I should go down the bottom of the pits see what I miss. Gosh, yeah, there's a picture frame hiding down there. And there's also some picture frames in here, too, which I completely forgot. Of course, we're Phil Spice, too. And grabbing these. Pitch frames, those are as you got all the pitch frames in the entire game now. Yeah, look at that, gone all the picture frames. Okay, that's 25 then, okay. So there we go, tick. Now when I never, never, and I'm not doing old play session again, so I'm just gonna do this. Oh, I love the range, <laughs> I love the range on the X wings really. 
So yeah, take care of you. Should be nearly done by now. Now we'll go over here where I believe where the first boss was. There should be a fill spy here as well. Take you out. And that's the last one. So yeah, that's all the course by taking care of, and that's all the collectibles collecting this entire game. And you see, I got all cogs too, since I did, I did do this right after I beat in the game. So, either way, more some more opals, or you know, just using a code to get some more opals. I bought the platinum pulse, and I can take three times the amount of damage. And yeah, that's it. I'm ready to go, mate. Final boss time. <laughs> so, it's more get a who, and I'll see you in the finale. It's time to go. Let's do it, sir. Let's face off against that cad boss, Cass. Hey, wait up, possum. You're not leaving without me. Or me. It's time for me to pay back an old debt. It's a missile bunyard. I built it myself. With a little help from Julius. Right here, chaps. We're over the drop zone. Prepare to engage. Is that a shadow bunyip? Sounds like you've got bunyip envy, Sly. Mm, don't worry, I like yours too. Look out, incoming! 